What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Brooklyn Stacy, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am doing a healthy food grocery haul, so let's get right into it. Also, I just wanted to tell you uh, some things of how what I've been doing. These are just some foods that I have substituted and changed uh, just to um, get myself healthier. And it's work so far I've been down 62 pounds uh, by just doing lifestyle changes with foods let's get right into it so I can show you what I have so I do have some chicken wings um, I do basically eat chicken and fish this is the fish I do have some cod fillets here um, I do have some flounder uh, and um, I do also eat uh, some uh, farm rates uh, salmon so those are my fish items that I do uh, have and then I do chunk white tuna when I do my tuna wraps I do a mixture I'm trying some different flavors out so um, you know there's the zero sugar and the 12 grams of carbs the 15 grams of carbs with the okois I, you know I don't know how to say that <laughs> but the o-i-k-o-s forgive me I'm saying it wrong I know but this is the light and fit and this is the Chobani, which has zero sugar and it does this one does not have any lactose for those that are lactose intolerant uh, uh, worried about that it's only 60 calories let's look at these in comparison to the other as you can see like i said 60 calories total carbs of five um no sugars no added sugars um and uh and the fiber is less than one gram so you know you have your cholesterol 10 milligrams and zero fat so this is pretty good as well and as you can see what the ingredients are um the non-fat milk uh, well it's un ultra filtered non-fat milk and it has water skim milk allulose uh, on and on and on i do like this brand uh, the triple zero because you see it has no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no fat, and 15 grams of protein. Um, if you want to look at the macros, if we can get that into uh, focus really good, you see it has 90 calories. Um, and you, like I said, it has uh, what less than five milligrams of cholesterol. And you see the total carbs are 10. But remember, you subtract the fiber from the sugar alcohol. So it has about seven uh, grams of carbs and um, it does have some sugar and it does have the um, you know the protein so then there's that but then it varies by flavor so um, but I do love Greek yogurt this is the banana cream and it tastes really good same thing with this one um, this one is the blueberry so you know it, it's going to have a little bit different in terms of the macros the macros are going to be you know a little bit uh different also then we have the strawberry and then we have the light and fit the dan and light and fit greek yogurt and this is strawberry cheesecake it's 80 calories 12 grams of protein let's look at those macros and see what they have to say um, those particular carbs are nine for added sugar 12 grams of protein. Um, I still do cheeses, haven't weaned myself totally off of all dairy because I do make my own pizza, which is why I have the pepperoni. Um, I still do cheeses, like I said, I love feta. And this is the green giant rice veggie, the cauliflower, so um, that's how I make my crust. When I want something to substitute for fries, I do sweet potato fries. Um, also, the diet ocean spray cranberry juice is good um, when I don't want to drink any water. Water is my main beverage, but I don't do sodas, so I will do that and some Crystal Light. Um, over in the fruit and veggies, you have, I have collard greens uh, because, hey, I love greens. I do have some organic alfalfa sprouts that I put into my salads, my tomatoes. Um, I usually cut these in half and use less of them you know i have a mixture of my the tubs the baby greens and then uh baby spinach i do have some some broccoli some broccoli florets um i do have some broccoli uh cauliflower well not broccoli cauliflower excuse me it's broccoli slaw it's called broccoli 
slaw. So it consists of carrots, red, red cabbage, and broccoli. And it's, it's really good. And then I do the matchstick cut carrots when I make my own chicken and broccoli. And I just put the carrots and the onions and, and some other seasonings in there. Um, I do a lot of fresh vegetables. So I love asparagus, my green onions, and I love these cute little gourmet uh, cucumbers versus getting the, the larger ones that seem to go bad. Um, the, the green pepper, the red pepper, over in the fruit side, I, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so I love apples. So there's the apples, uh, the seedless grapes, the bananas for smoothies. Um, I do red pears and kiwi, trying to increase the fiber, as well as I do the Mission Carb Balance. Um, there are two of those. I actually do the sun-dried tomato basil, and as you see, it's uh, five net carbs, high in fiber, only 80 calories, really soft, keto friendly. I'm not doing a keto diet, but it is keto friendly. Uh, zero cholesterol, uh, zero trans fat, and zero sugar. So this is really good. And then also I do the other carb balance is the spinach herb, and it tastes really great. Same thing, this has like 60 calories. It is also high in fiber, three grams carb net. And the same thing, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, and zero sugar as well. So like I said, I do the crystal light, so I have a few of those um, to get my protein in, and when I really don't feel like eating, I'll grab a shake. So I have a mixture between the Atkins and the Premier Protein flavor. When I wanna do uh, snacking, when I feel like a little snackish, you know, um, as we all do every now and then, instead of reaching for something that's loaded with sugar and loaded with carbs, um, you know, I found um, that I do like the Atkins brand. This is not sponsored, it's just something that I do find that I like. Um, so I don't eat cookies much, but I mean, every now and then you want something like to snack on. And so these cookies are pretty good. And you see they have 10 uh, protein, 10 grams of protein, less than one sugar, one gram of sugar, eight grams of fiber. So the total is three uh, net carbs so that's really great and this is a, a, a really great snack and it's a peanut butter uh, flavor and it really tastes good soft and chewy like it says a, a, another thing that I like it is a, a good treat and as you see it has two grams of carbs net carbs only one gram of sugar it's also a good source of fiber it's the caramel nut chew bar it almost tastes like a snicker bar so if you like snicker bars um, you, you'll, you'll like that and as you can see um, here, uh, what I was saying in terms of the amount of fiber it has, you see it has five grams of fiber, it's 18%. That's really, really good. Um, you know, and then it talks about, you know, how many calories and the other nutritional facts. So that's that. And then the other one um, that I do like is sort of like a turtle. And um, this has seven grams of protein, three grams net carbs as you see two grams of sugar and my lighting went off so we'll continue so you know seven grams as i was saying of protein three grams uh net carb uh, two grams of sugar and it's also rich in fibers caramel nut roll uh bar and like i said it tastes just like a turtle <laughs> so if you love turtles then you'll you'll love uh that and as you can see it's high in fiber seven seven grams of, of fiber and then um, for those who like uh, coconut, then you would like this one. And this is the chocolate coconut bar. So what is that? Um, well, how's the commercial go? Mounds, <laughs> Almond Joy doesn't, Mounds got coconut, Mounds don't, okay. So, uh, no, Almond Joy has coconut, Mounds don't. See, I forgot it, <laughs> I'm so old school. But anyway, two net grams of carbs one of sugar and one gram of sugar and it also is really rich in uh, fiber as you can see it has nine grams a little bit higher than of the saturated fat but just like you know with coconut oil anything um, you know anything is a little bit high with saturated fat but then again you know with the coconut that 
comes with the territory. So you want to eat those in, in moderation when you're watching, you know, your fat grams and counting your calories and your macros and things. You know, increasing your fiber is really important in getting your cholesterol down and things. And so I do have a fiber one protein bar. And as you see, it is five net grams, six grams of protein and only two grams of sugar. What is this? The peanut butter. Uh, there are several different ones, but I just chose the, the peanut butter one. And here, here are the macronutrients for those who uh, want to see uh, it. It has 130 calories and uh, total sugars, as I said, 2 grams, 7 grams uh, fiber. Total carbs is, what, 18 grams. So you subtract the uh, dietary fiber and and the sugar alcohols, and that gives you that net that I was talking about. So when I want something crunchy, then I will snack on, um, you know, some caramel rice cakes. And, you know, it has five whole grains, gluten-free, uh, no artificial flavor. Let's look at the macros on these, uh, on these rice cakes. Let's look at the macros. So as you see, the calories, uh, 50 calories, uh, for one cake, and it, it does have, um, let's see, just the sodium, you know, it just has that 25 of sodium. It has 11 carbs, so, you know, you want to watch that. That's only 4%, but, you know, for those who are doing keto, you know, or, or super, super low carbs, you know, just take note of that. Juices, and I, that's really limited, um, and I do have the Diet Cranberry Juice uh, from uh, Ocean Spray, and again, um, that works well for me, but I just drink plain water. I can drink it room temperature, doesn't matter, but I do, you know, put crystal light, uh, in my water. So I just got a few of those that, um, you know, with the 10 uh, on the go packets and you, it's real simple. You know, you just open up the satchel and you just pour it in there. You, you guys have probably seen this before, but here's the macros on that 10 calories, uh, no fat, no sodium, uh, about three carbs, 1%. No sugars, and so you see it there. Okay, so this is a good alternative as to you know people that seemingly cannot drink water. You can put you know the little light flavorings in there. All right, guys. So that's my haul. I just wanted to show you some things that I um, eat on a daily basis, um, and just show you how I've changed my eating pattern. And um, this is all eating like this that has helped me to uh, reduce my weight slowly but surely to the tune of what did I say 61 62 pounds I have to do the math somewhere around there I said it in the beginning but um you see it you see it for yourself you see uh the fish um you see that I do eat that and you see that this is eating healthy is really not cheap <laughs> as you could see but guess what it is good for you i mean it's worth it being sick is not cheap either that's that but again i just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what my haul is thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to the channel please do give this a thumbs up leave a comment if you've tried some of these things and you like it or things that you don't like or things that you're going to try let me know let me know how you have changed your your lifestyle your eating habits and how it has worked and let's be an inspiration for um, each other okay so once again don't forget to like share subscribe and as always thank you for watching take care and be well bye bye